Hey guys! Alright, another haul coming at ya. This time it is from Pivot Zaka Store. And I did mention this early on that I had placed an order because there were a few things that I wanted to catch before they go out of stock. And it's one of those sites where, you know, if it's out of stock, it's out of stock for a while, so might as well get it. Um, so Pipitaka, uh, I follow them on Instagram, and um, they post such great things that you really can't get in the U.S. It does ship from Malaysia, so it does take about two to four weeks to ship. This took about two weeks to get here. Um, the ordering system is a little different. Um, if you see something on the catalog, what you do is you add it to a cart and then you send your cart as an order form to the people that run the business and then they get back to you with an invoice and that's how they bill you. Um, it's through PayPal is how they bill you and so if there are any changes and all that they make those adjustments um, through PayPal. So that's kind of how it worked out. There was one item that I did put on my I guess order form and they came back saying that it was out of stock so sadly I couldn't get what I wanted. Um, in that one roll of washi but they said that you know if there's something else that you see just let us know we'll do the price adjustment and that's kind of what I worked out with so I'm gonna start with what I uh, wanted to get and it was mainly because of the stamps and two designs of washi I'm gonna start with the stamps because these were the highly coveted items that I wanted to get so there is, I'll do a close up. So that is one of the stamps. They do, they carry a lot of these like woodland creature stamps and I love them. And so that was one. What I like about these is they actually stand up. So that's really nice. Just have it, be able to sit on your desk and a squirrel. And they are rubber on the back. This bird. And this little mushroom because you guys know I love mushrooms. All right, so we've got the stamps. Those were thankfully in stock. So those are the four that I really wanted. And then on Instagram, they recently posted this roll of washi, which looks exactly like the Cavallini and Co. sticker sets. Here, I will even show you. I think I have them here. I don't have the tin anymore because I actually transformed the tin into something else. But here's one of the sheets. And that's the roll of washi. Like you can't get that stuff in the States, sadly. So I really needed to get two rolls of those. They were really affordable. So, you know, two rolls and then to really make up for the shipping. So I'm going to quickly do some swatches for you guys if I can. Okay, if I can. So I think this is going to be such a pretty, pretty roll. be pretty precise with this and I'm glad I got the two rolls because I am definitely going to be using this a lot I love nature washy and such really pretty Oop. and really good quality because it is MT and does it go any further? Oh wow, this goes on for a, quite a bit. Let's see here, where does it stop? Oh, actually, stops right here. So that is the bird washi there. Very pretty. And then this one right here, which for obvious reasons I had to get, and also a very affordable price, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch of this for you. So I'm gonna post the link below and I sincerely hope that if it is still in stock, you guys are able to get it because they have such a great collection of washi tape in general. But if you guys are at all interested in these, I would say snag them while you can. And the nice thing is, is a lot of the regular things that they carry, they will restock. And so I believe you can always email them with questions of ones that you may not see in stock and you can always ask when they might get it back in. This is so pretty. Oh my God. I am going to be so excited in trying to like cut these out and add them to my journals. I love that. So that is, oh, I have a lot of stuff slipping out of my notebook here. Those are the different fungi illustrations. How pretty. Ah, oh, I'm really into this kind of like illustrated nature botanical um, botany kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like the Audubon prints and such. And then I've got two Mosse washi rolls. And this one is, I believe, a ticket, like a travel theme ticket. So you get a good amount in this roll, even though it's, um, you know, smaller in size compared to the kind of average size roll. Um, slightly wider. I wanted some more travel themed washi because I'm going to be doing some traveling. And, you know, what better to... encourage creativity with travel themed things even if you're not actually going somewhere. I just think if you like it, why not use it in your journal? You don't have to go somewhere to use travel themed washi. So, and I find that travel themed things always inspire me. So, there we are. We've got this right here, and that right there, very cool. It's lime green, so it's a little bit brighter than what normal travel themed washi is. It's kind of like darker colors, but I like it, I don't mind. And then this one is got uh, designs of the different continents. So I thought that would be kind of fun. And also in a bright color that you don't normally see travel themed things in so it's a little different I like it because of that because usually all my travel themed things are kind of like brown tones you know that kind of air postal shades oh that looks really nice on on white paper I like it so and I don't think there's any kind of reasoning to how they've placed the continents, but I like it. It's kind of got a graph uh, background too to kind of differentiate and kind of break up the white, which is really nice. This will look really nice on kind of like darker paper if you have craft paper, I think. That'll look really cool. So that is all the washi that I got and all the stamps. It was a really small order. So as you can see right there, this, the extra rolls that I will like <laughs> ration. Um, but that's just pretty much all I wanted. I probably could have added like a dozen more things, but I really didn't need them. So, you know, just kept to what I've just pretty much had my eye on for the longest time. It was a good customer um, experience. I really like this site. Like I said, they carry a lot of things that um, other online stores may not carry. They have a great Instagram, so go ahead and follow them to kind of keep up to date because that's where they post 
new items and that's kind of how I found out about some of these things in stock. So thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!